Hello everyone. Today we are going to see approximate string matching. So what do you mean by approximate string matching? So while typing sometimes we make some spelling mistakes. Okay. So still we can able to retrieve the documents based on that uh, corrected word. So how many errors are allowed based on that, that particular word will be get corrected. So learning outcome for this session is students will be able to find the number of errors or edit distance between text and pattern. Let us understand first approximate string matching. So this problem statement can be stated as you have given a short pattern P of length M and a long text T of length N and the maximum allowed number of errors are K. So what we have to do is that we have to find all the text positions where the pattern occurs with at most K errors. Now this difference or the distance is generally called as an eleven sentence distance or edit distance. So with minimal modifications, it is adapted to search whole words matching pattern with K errors. So let us see here example flower and flower. So by mistake, instead of E, there is A. So if allowed distance or the allowed error is 1, still this flower, F-L-O-W-A-R, will get accepted if there is a flower. Or we are typing Sunday and Monday. Okay. So if there are difference between the Sunday and Monday is 2 because S and U, M and O rest of the things are <coughs> common over here. So how much distance or how many errors are allowed accordingly we are going to find out the positions in the text. So there are many algorithms available out of that one approach is dynamic programming. So let us find out the edit distance between the two uh, st uh, what you can say that is strings. So one can be the text and one can be the pattern and see that whether the string will or the pattern will be found in the text or not considering that k errors. So we are going to fill the matrix c of 0 to m and 0 to n where m is the length of the pattern and n is the length of the text. So c of ij will be uh, representing the minimum number of errors needed to match pattern with the text. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, first how will we fill the 0th row and 0th column? It will be filled with J index and I index for this row and column. And for the remaining uh, columns and rows or the IJ entry, if the character that we are finding that is the ith character in pattern and j character in text, if it is same, means that uh, consider this example here. Now this N and this N is same. Then what will be the difference here, which is the previous one as it is that we are going to carry forward. So of course we are going to set an example. If it is same then we are going to take the distance from the diagonal entry. Why diagonal entry means that whatever the previous characters of the pattern and the text that we have matched that distance is going to be carried forward since the character is same. If it is not same obviously the distance is going to be increased or the number of errors is going to be increased. So that will be increased by 1 since there is one character mismatch. To which value? <coughs> so we are going to find the minimum value vertically, horizontally and diagonally of the position of i and j and whichever is minimum that we are going to take and we are going to add it to 1. So when we are going to report a match, if the match will be reported at the text position of j such that c of m comma j is less than or equal to k. Let us see it with example. So this is the text that is surgery and our pattern. <coughs> pattern is survey. <coughs> so let us see that whether the survey will be get accepted in the text of surgery. So this is the 0th row where we are having the entry same as j. So 0 to 7 and then this is the 0th column where we are going to have the entry from 0 to 6. Why this is 6? Because the number of characters are 6. So if you are not matching any character, since we are having all the 6 characters, it the distance will be here 6, here 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on. Okay? So let us see with this now the first position of i and j that is 1, 1. So what will be the distance here? Now which character we are matching here? This is the character is s and this is also s. So if the character is matching, what we have seen the formula? Whatever the diagonal entry distance that will be carried forward. Okay? So this 0 will be taken here. So S and S is matching. So distance will be obviously 0. This is how the distance will be 0. Now let us see for the next position. So what is the character here? It is U. And what is the character here? It is S. So S, <coughs> I am sorry, S and U are not matching. So what we have to do is that 
we have to find the vertical horizontal and diagonal distance out of that which is minimum that we have to take so zero is the minimum so we are going to add one so we have got the distance as one so it's quite obvious that what is the string here su what is the string here up, up to this it is only s so how much will be the distance in between su and s it is going to be one character because this s and this is matched so remaining character is u so either u will be inserted deleted or removed so that is what the distance is going to be one so let us see for the next at this position this is r and this is s again it is not matching so find out the minimum distance that is one so one plus one is going to be two so now this s is not at all matching with this uh, any character here that's why we are going to increase it the distance by one so finding the minimum distance so minimum distance is two so it will be three here it will be four here it will be five and it will be six i hope you have understood this now what will be the distance at this position now the character is s character is u so again this is su now and this is s so again the character is not matched so minimum distance at this 3 is 0 so 0 plus 1 will be u so let us pause the video and find out the distance for this particular position <coughs> so here now which is the character character is u here is also u it is the matching character okay so what we are going to do is that we are going to take the diagonal entry so this distance will be zero so of course this is su and this is also su that's why the distance has become zero so this uh, now u is not matching with any of the entry so it is going to be increased by one so at this position it will be one so zero plus one at this position minimum is now one out of this three so it will be two so this is going to be 3, this is going to be 4 and then it will be 5. So I hope you are getting how we are finding the distance. Now what about this? Now this is S, this is R, it is also not matching. So minimum distance is 1, so 1 plus 1 it is going to be 2. Now this is R, this is U, again not matching. So minimum is now here 0, so 0 plus 1 it is going to be 1. So SU and SU R, so only one character difference is there, that is why it will be 1. So what about this position now? This is also R, this is also R. So this is going to be diagonal entry. So S U R, S U R string is the same. That's why the distance will be here 0. Next is going to be here G. So now there is G and R. It is also not matching. So minimum 0 plus 1, it will be 1. For this, it, uh, it will be 1 plus 1, that is 2. Now this is again, this is going to be your R. <coughs> So this is going to be surgery and this is going to be R. So the character is matched. So how much, uh, what should be the distance? It has been taken from the diagonal that is going to be here 3. Okay, this is how it works. And then the last is going to be Y. So this is not matching. So 3 plus 1 is going to be 4. Let us go for the next. So this is going to be S and V. This is also not matching. So the distance is going to be 3, 2 plus 1, 1 plus 2. Then again R V not matching, so 0 plus 1. Then G and R is not matching, so again 0 plus 1. So in this E and V is not matching, so 1 plus 1, 2. Then this is going to be 2 plus 1, 3. And then again 3 plus 1, 4. So next entry is going to be here E. So E and S is not matching, so minimum 3 plus 1, 4. U and E is not matching, so 2 plus 1, 3. R and E is also not matching, so 1 plus 1, 2. Then the next will be here again G and E is not matching so 1 plus 1 2. Now E and E is matching so we have to take the diagonal distance so it will be 1. After that R and E is also not matching so the distance will be here 1 plus 1 2 and this will be 3. At the end now this is going to be S so Y and S is not matching or S and Y is not matching. So, <coughs> so 4 plus 1 5, 3 plus 1 4. Now R and this 2 plus 1, 3. Now again 2 plus 1, 3. Now E and Y, so 1 plus 1, 2. R and Y is also not matching, so 1 plus 1, 2. And now this Y and this Y is matching, so we are going to take the diagonal distance. So this will be 2, okay. So whether how the survey will be <coughs> accepted in the uh, text of surgery, it will be accepted if the maximum allowed errors are more than 2. If we are allowing only one error, then this surgery or the, sorry, this survey will not be accepted because the number of errors at this position is 2. 
okay so this is how we are finding the added distance between two strings so if the <coughs> i'm sorry if the character is matching we have to take the diagonal distance why diagonal distance if it is we are already compared with this particular part okay so let us look at this here up to this e and up to this r so whatever this search serger and survey we have already found that there are two errors and now at the next time if the character is matching means that whatever the previous distance of this text that we have to carry forward okay and that is what the first formula so in this way you can find out the number of errors in between two strings or you can go for the approximate matching thank you